That's it. That was the one. Okay. <laughs> Do you need me? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> Do I think you feel like this? It's such a good song. I like my hair like this too. Okay. Feel free to join in anytime you want. Hi everyone. So I just got back from IMATS New York and this video is going to be all about my experience and a haul of what I got. Um, I literally just got back and that was my first IMATS or makeup show that I've ever been to. And I have to say overall it was an awesome experience. I went with a good friend of mine so that made it even better. So basically me and my friend knew that we wanted to go to IMATS a long long time ago and we both tried to get tickets and we were waiting around. We're like oh yeah we'll get them next week or we'll get them in like a couple weeks. So everything got sold out. So we both ap applied for the makeup pro cards because we both go to beauty school. We're in cosmetology school right now. We both go to Empire and we thought that we would both be able to get it. So we went through the whole application, sent them in, verification of our hours that we go to school. She gets accepted and I don't. <laughs> so I don't know why, but I'm going to reapply so I can get the card because I think I need it. Um, I would love to have it and basically she got she got a ticket for her and then got a guest ticket for me so that's how we did that and it was for Sunday that's when most of the makeup pro people were going I didn't see a lot of people wearing the cards I feel like you can go whatever day um, but yeah she had to wear the card around her neck I had to show ID and she had to bring me in as a guest and whatever I don't know it was a big ordeal so basically we had planned to go super early in the morning like right at 10 a.m. when they opened and then we were like getting ready and we're FaceTiming together and we're like nah let's not go at the same time like I, let's not go that early like why do we need to go that early so I ended up leaving my house at 10 got to her house then we drove over to the ferry took the ferry over and I believe we got there around like 11 30 12 so it was good timing and I feel like when we got there it wasn't like that much traffic to get in and it was really nice um, just to go in, not wait online and anything like that. So we go in and we were kind of overwhelmed. So the girls at the front desk, the one that I went to was not helpful at all. The one that my friend went to was very helpful. Um, there was a lot of people who were working there today that were not helpful at all, but my overall experience was still good. Um, and we got a map and we got IMAT, IMAT's bags. See, I got one big one. And I put my purse in it because I didn't want to carry around my purse. I wanted to carry around the eye mask bag, throw things in it. But I got so much that I ended up having to get another eye mask bag. So, there's that. So, we went, got the bags, got the mat. We were completely overwhelmed. So, we were just walking. When you first go in, there was stuff on the side. And then there was stuff straight back. And then on the other side. So, it was kind of like a T-shape. And we're going and... We go straight to the back and we're just looking through things and whatever and we saw that there was a stage in the back and a food stand so we're just like looking at everything we're like okay we'll come back there later we'll eat a little snack whatever we go and we were trying to go to lime crime anastasia beverly hills anastasia beverly hills stuff like that and the lines were absolutely crazy they were madness so we went over by nyx and we thought nyx had it like all together it was a little bit more organized and it wasn't at all they give you a bucket and basically you just put stuff in the bucket and you go and like you get your stuff and then you have to go on a separate line and then go in and pay it was just like complete madness it, it was insane so i literally only got one thing from nyx and then we got she got a bunch of things. And then once we were done, we were like already tired from going to one booth. So we, were, we weren't even going to wait on Lime Crime. We went over to Stila and she got one thing from Stila. And it was kind of pricey, but I told her it was like a good deal. And she should just get it. Because everything there was marked down from their re retail prices. They were like really good prices. So she got that and then we were like already tired. And we walked to the back. And we got some sodas and we just sat there by the stage and watched a little bit of someone's presentation and that was about it. And then basically after that, after we like figured out where everything was, and well not everything, but we figured out where most stuff was and what we were doing. We just went by tables and we really didn't have a set plan. Like there were people there that I think like came from their, their jobs, like their job was makeup and they were there for specific things and they were buying 
all this stuff and we didn't have a set plan like we just wanted to go we wanted to meet youtubers they weren't letting youtubers in we did meet one person rosita and she was super super nice and i actually got a picture with her and that was about it but there were no other youtubers there um i got looked at funny for vlogging a couple times but other than that there was really nothing going on so we were just walking in tables we didn't want to spend a lot um we were kind of just looking at everything. The one thing I really wanted to look at was um, Artist Makeup Academy and Mud because I heard they were supposed to be there. But we could not find Mud. I don't think they were there. But we found Artist Makeup Academy and it was awesome. I met the owner of the school. She was super nice. Gave us information on the school and on courses and classes and stuff like that. So I'm going to check into that. There were a couple times that when we were shopping that we would go look for something and someone would say, oh, it's sold out. And then we go to the other side of the booth and be like, oh, it's right here. And there was one time that I was asking someone, like, do you know where Artist Makeup Academy's booth is? Like, we're looking for them, whatever. And they'd be like, oh, no, sorry. And it was literally, like, two booths away. So, like, a lot of the vendors were not helpful at all. The people, the staff working there was. Um, so, just if you ever go to a makeup show like that, I would not ask the vendors because... They're wasting your time and they honestly have no idea what's going on. They only want you at their booth and that's pretty much it. The staff is always there to help you and direct you. Other than that, we had an overall great experience at my first makeup show. I met one YouTuber. Um, we bought. I bought a lot of stuff at a discounted price. And I had a lot of fun with my friend, and it was just a good experience to, like, have. I also got a lot of information on the school that I'm looking into, uh, Artist Makeup Academy. And I would definitely go to another one. I think we're looking into going to BeautyCon. If any of you went to IMATS, comment down below or give me your Instagrams, and I'll check out some pictures, stuff like that. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's ItalianGoddess26, and I did post some pictures there. And a bug or a fuzz. Oh, it's a fuzz. I did post some pictures there, so be sure to check that out. And now that I've talked everybody's ear off, I am going to show you guys what I got. After I take a sip of water, because I'm freaking parched. Okay, so basically, as soon as we got in, we got the map. I grabbed a bag to put my purse in, because I didn't want to be carrying around my purse, and then like a bag. So I put my purse in one of the IMATS bags. And just started throwing stuff in there. But then it got to be too much stuff. So I went and got another bag. So I'm just going to take my purse out of my bag. Um, and the bag I brought is from my old What's in My Purse bag. When I sound like a robot and just started YouTube. It's my Hot Pink Michael Kors bag. Um, and I fit a bunch of stuff in there. And I had like a little thing with my ID and my card and cash. So I like could easily take that out. Um, I felt very overwhelmed when you go up to pay. Um, it was kind of like they're rushing you. So you always want to have that stuff like easy on hand. But in a place where you could close it up. So it's not able to fall out. Or someone can reach in and get it. Um, you don't really want to bring a big purse. But I have a lot of stuff I need to carry. Um, you can watch my what's in my purse bag. I like to carry on a lot of things. So then the bag with my purse, I put all papers in. So I'll just show you guys that real quick. So basically when we went to NYX, there really wasn't anything crazy. There were just these two cards that I got when I was checking out. So I just picked them out real quick. This is the NYX Professional Business card. And then this is the NYX Professional Makeup. Makeup Lovers Rejoice, our 2015 NYX Face Award submissions are now open, and you can compete for a chance to win prizes, a trip to LA, and $25,000 in cash. Do you have what it takes? So it's just advertising their contest and then their regular business card. Nothing special, just took it because I wanted to take everything and yeah. So then we went by Sigma and I didn't get anything from them. I really, I didn't have any interest in getting brushes, but... I did end up getting brushes, but not from Sigma. Um, I, I have a problem when I buy brushes. Like, I, I use Eco, Eco Tools and Real Techniques. I know for a fact that Eco Tools is all obviously eco friendly and they don't use animals. Um, so that's why I like them. Real Techniques, um, I'm not 100% positive, but I, um, those are the only other brushes I have besides Eco Tools and then a bunch of random ones, which are probably from like Claire's and. Rite Aid, which probably aren't real animal anyway, so that's okay, but brushes like that, I know they're real and at like Sigma and all those fancy brush vendors that they had there, so I didn't want to buy any of those because I'm, I'm really against that, um, but this is 
when we went to go take pictures at the booth, the Sigma booth, they had like a little photo booth, um, and you could take pictures and you could hold up things. It was really cute. So this is their information where you can hashtag your picture and you can get a chance to win one of four $250 gift cards. So I don't know how they're doing that, but maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. This is 20% off your next online order for Royal Langnickel brushes. I think that just came in the bag. I really don't know. I walked by Makeup Forever Academy. I really didn't have an interest in looking at it. I took a Makeup Forever class and it was good, but I haven't really heard like extraordinary, spectacular things about Makeup Forever Academy, but I did just grab some papers on it. So I have some information on that. And then when we went to go see Artist Makeup Academy, they gave me this sheet that has, um, their basic information, then it has on the back like prices and um, just like courses, like a rough summary, not like crazy in-depth stuff, but it was really good. She actually took a lot of time. We were there talking to her for probably, I want to say like a little over five minutes about all the courses and whatever, and she was very, very helpful, super sweet. We were just like loving her. So I think that's all I have for papers. Um... Other than my map, which they gave us. They gave us this book and we were just like, okay, this all says the number of booths and we don't know where that is. But you also have to look. It said all three days and who was going to be there and what booth they were going to be. And then in the back of the book, there was a map. And we just did not figure that out until like a couple hours after we were there. So there was that. Okay, now in my NYX bag, when I bought one thing from NYX. They gave me this bag, which I could totally reuse for stuff. And I literally only got one thing. This is the NYX gel liner. Um, all I use is gel liner and I've been looking for a blue gel liner to put in my waterline because gel is the only liner that sticks in my waterline and I used to wear blue pencil in my waterline and it would constantly wash out but it really made my eyes pop. So I found this gel liner like as soon as we came in it was $6 and it was called Sweet Samantha. So I was like, okay, I have to get it because it's my name. Um, and it actually shows that you can use it as an eyeshadow, eyeshadow base, or a liner. Then we went by the table for Naked Cosmetics. And I had never heard of them, to be honest. I really haven't. And there were these pigments. And I have, and I didn't realize what she was talking about until she started showing us. They're basically just pigments. Um with one ingredient in them and then the color pigment and they're very sparkly and they only have one ingredient in them and you can put on a clear lip gloss and put it over top you can use clear nail polish and put the pigment with it or you can use it as an eyeshadow with or without primer and with or without um, water because you can wet them like almost like a big shadow and you can use it for multiple things and I actually got a bronzer when I went on a cruise um, from the spa that was on the boat and it's basically the same thing but they mainly advertise it as a bronzer these you cannot use as a bronzer they say that they're sixty dollars for um a set and the set includes six pigments they were selling two pigment two pigment sets for fifty dollars so my friend and i both got one and split it twenty five dollars each because it was two for fifty dollars and I got a bunch of bluer shades. It, they range from light blue to like a purple. And this is the set called Twilight. And I asked her, I straight up asked her if this is similar to the BH Cosmetics pigments that they have. And she said no. Um, and I just got the BH Cosmetics Velvet Escape um, eyeshadows. And they're like light blues, light purples, light pinks, and a tan. So this is mainly blues, so it's not that similar. I definitely want to do a video comparing them. These are definitely more sparkly. Those are not as sparkly. Those are more natural, bare minerals. Um, these are like very, very pigmented, very, very sparkly, and I love them. And I definitely want to use more bright colors and try new things out. And I thought that would be good to use on other people too, like for clients and stuff, because it's different. These brushes, I saw and we were just looking at them because I know that my friend wanted to look at some brushes. She didn't really need them. I didn't really need them, but I always like to have extra brushes on hand, especially when I'm working on clients. I'm always like, I really should have more brushes, but I'm very specific about my brushes. 
and we saw that these are 100% vegan. So basically the only reason I wanted to look at these was because it said 100% vegan, which means it has absolutely nothing to do with animals. Um, so I really wanted to use them and I was touching some of them and they seem pretty soft because I'm also weird about if they feel rough or anything. Like I will not use them, even on other people, because I want myself and my clients to have a good experience and not feel irritated when they're getting their makeup done. So basically I got an eye brush set and a face brush set. Ooh, this one's double sided, I didn't even realize. And they come with a little case. So this is the first set, I got it in blue, and it comes with seven eye brushes, an angle shader brush, a crease smudger brush, an eye shader brush, a smoky eye brush, a brow brush, and a lash comb, um, and a double sided like brow brush. Then I got this white set, which is face brushes. Focus, there we go. I got a powder brush, a crease and smudger brush, a brow brush, an eyeshader brush, and then a duo fiber brush. So I thought that this was really good for myself and for clients. Um, and this was $10 per set. So in total, I got both these sets together for $20. Good deal, huh? Okay, the next thing I got, which I really didn't understand this whole eyelash sale. They just had like a whole thing of eyelashes like a whole booth of eyelashes and then this was if you want to watch my vlog this was right when the girl got proposed to like right next to us and I was just completely thrown off so basically the girl said that it was eight pairs of lashes for $26 I'm pretty sure yes that's exactly what it is because there's four in here she said it was eight pairs of lashes for $26 and me and my friend were like what are you talking about you only handed us one packet of lashes there's only two in here what do you mean? Because we could both split it and it'd be $13 each for four pairs of lashes. There's actually two of each lashes in here and they're stacked on top of each other. So I have another pair under here and another pair under here. They're stacked on top of each other. It's pretty thick. And these are the Ardell Wispies, um, two different kinds. Um, I really don't wear lashes, but the lashes I do have, I always keep in the case, like from proms, from anything else. I Like the ones I'm wearing right now, I got for Valentine's Day, and they were a Valentine's Day collection from Walgreens, and they're called Kiss. And I literally just put them back in the package, clean them off, and I use them. So I said, you know what, this will be good to get this pack. It was four pairs of lashes for $13, and I'll just clean them off and keep reusing them. So I thought that was a really good deal. Now, my next purchase is my favorite. And I saw someone hashtag it, um, when I looked up the hashtag iMats, they had it, and I was like, I need to find this. So, as soon as we found the iMats booth with all the iMats clothes, I went straight up to them and I said, where are your beanies? I need your beanies. I need one that says iMats. They had one left, and they were only one size, and they're kind of big, so I'm going to try to shrink it, but it's honestly not that bad. And they saved iMats on it. It was $12.00. And since I love beanies, I thought, like, I needed it. And it's slouchy in the back. It's super cute. Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, so I got that. I had to. It was awesome. And that was all the stuff that I got. I really didn't get that much. What I did get, I made sure I got good prices on. Gel liner was $6. The brushes were $20 for both sets. I, I paid $13 for four pairs of eyelashes and $12 for a beanie. Oh, and I paid $25 for a six pigment set from Naked Cosmetics. Overall, I did some pretty smart shopping and I, I had a pretty good experience. I met one other YouTuber, so that was an awesome experience as well. Shout out to Rosita. And I would definitely go back again. I'm definitely looking into going to BeautyCon. If any of you went to IMATS or you have gone to IMATS before, I know a lot of people didn't go this year because of the whole no YouTubers allowed thing. Overall, that was my experience with IMATS. I loved it. Definitely looking into BeautyCon and going there. If any of you have been to any makeup shows before, even a hair show, comment down below what your experience was, any tips that you may have, because I know I gave a couple in this video. But overall, I did have an awesome experience. Me and my friend had a great time and definitely want to go back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and it helped someone or it was fun to watch. Be sure to check out my iMats video on my vlog channel and follow my Instagram and check out some pictures that I took there as well. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.